Welcome to Online Shopping Village. Today I'm going to show you guys how to connect this dongle into your device. And first of all, when you open the packet, you will see a dongle. Right, look, this is the switch button where you can change the mode, where I'll show you later. Open the device, you will see a Wi Fi adapter. And the user menu. Now, connect this into your HDMI connector at the back of your TV. Connect this to the back of the dongle, where you give you a power and a Wi-Fi connection to your home router wireless. And you have to connect this into one of the USB port at the back of your TV or monitor to give power. Okay. Okay. Once you connected the dongle into the back of your TV, switch on the TV. And you have to select um, the HDMI input this is what you see when you are connected to the wireless dongle as you can see there's a SSID any cast the password one two three four five six the dongle wireless IP address first of all you need to connect to your wireless dongle into your home wireless network to do that I'm going to use my phone to demonstrate to you You need to look for the Anycast SSID. You have to input the password which is shown on the screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's the default password. Once you're connected, you can see it's all linked. Now you need to um, open a web browser and key in the IP address which is 192.168.49.1 This is what you get. You need to connect your dongle to your home network. Press scan. Here's a list of the Wi Fi SSID to connect to my home Wi Fi ID. This is the Wi Fi network. And make sure you press connect. So I forget first because I already connected to my home Wi-Fi. So choose my home wireless network, and you can see it's now connected. Now go back, go back, and go back. These are the list where you can um, the function of the wireless dongle. The first one is to connect to the Wi-Fi. 
The second one is the touch icon to switch modes between mirror class and DLNA. I will show you, I'll show it to you later. And the third one is to show you the media control panel. And the last one is the setting. Um, you can change the password for your dongle, which I don't really, doesn't really matter. So to change mode, you have to press this. You can see on the screen, it will change. See, this is the mirroring where you can mirror your device to the TV. Let me show to you how you do the mirror. So once you're connected to your home network, you can connect to your home web, home network. Okay, now it's connected to my my home wireless network. So to do mirroring for Samsung device, you can go to the setting. NFC and sharing, screen mirroring, and you will scan for device. It automatically connect your device to the TV. There you go. You can end the connection by pressing the end connection. See, it's all. It's now mirroring. My phone to the network. So um, I show you a page. You can stream video from your device to your TV or you can do a demonstrations so it's pretty fast connections this is the website or oh, you can Go to YouTube to watch a video. It's your friend's birthday and you want to find something just right for them. What do you choose? Download the Amazon app and the perfect gifts are all around. The bridge shown through that you saw the steelwork and they felt that it was a, a sham to have covered it with baronial style architectural stone. To go to the full screen. They covered that up. They were ashamed of it. Show on the full screen. Pretty easy and straightforward. Now, I'm going to show you how to connect um, your the device into iOS device. Disconnect mirroring. At the back of the dongle, there's a switch where you can change the mode. Okay, to connect to the iPad, you have to change switch to this mode, AirPlay or Mirror. So at the moment, we are not connected to the iPad. So this is the iPad. To connect to the network, you have to... Connect to any class. Type the password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
join. You see now, it's connected to mirror. All you need to do is to flick up. There's the air play button here. Press, choose any cast, and don't forget mirroring. Simple. See, now you, you're connected to iPad mirroring. Open website. To connect to internet, I think you can have to connect to your home network. One your place, which is my home network. Let's connect to now. Again, press mirror. Now you can go online. Pick up. You can also show your pictures. Pretty amazing. To mirror your MacBook to the monitor, again, you have to connect to your home network. Okay, once you connect to the network, network, you can connect to any cost. You can see it's mirroring now your home network. So, whatever you do here, it's just connected. Okay. You can do a lot of things, for example, you can um, do PowerPoint. It's very useful. Well, that's it for the demonstration. If you have any problem, please um, drop me an email on info at onlineshoppingvillage.co.uk. Thanks for watching.